Hi everyone! Uh, so today I'm going to do a slightly different makeup tutorial. Uh, so I usually stick to sort of quite interesting smoky eyes and dark lips. So today I'm going to focus mainly on my face. Um, I'm not going to go wild on the eyes and I'm going to go for more of a pinky lip. So it's going to be a bit of a different one for me really. If you are watching on Facebook, please like and share. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Um, I haven't picked a great time to do this either. I thought earlier that I've actually got a really bad cold and a really runny nose. And I'm now doing a video which is focusing on my face. So I'm sorry if anything goes wrong. I've got, I've got a tissue just in case. But <laughs> let's see how we get on. Uh, so... Obviously, let's start off with primer. So, I'm going to use Smashbox Photo Finish. Uh, and I'll pop the description of everything I've used in my YouTube channel when I upload that, if you want to have a look. I think I'm going to do a bit of baking today as well. So, wish me luck with that. I don't usually do that. Hi everyone that's joining. Just drop that, that was a really good idea. Okay, for my foundation, I'm going to use my Clinique Anti Blemish Foundation mixed with NARS Luminous Weightless because this is too light, this is too dark, so. Actually, before I do that, I might cover my spots because I want to go for more of a flawless base. So I'm going to use my unique Skin Perfecting Concealer just to go over my spots first. Sorry, I'm being confusing. I feel like I haven't done a video for ages. A little bit of that under my eyes as well. So I'm not going wild with that, I'm just dumbing a little bit over my spots just to give me a bit give my foundation a better finish. Oh by the way, I'm in my dressing gown as well. I'm really sorry about that. But we're all friends here. Okay, now I'm going to do my foundation. So I'm going to use my Clinique. I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I'm going to put the NARS over the top. So I'm putting a small layer of this on first and it is buildable so I can start off with a thin layer over my whole face and then it's best to just build on the areas which need more coverage rather than building over your whole face so you get a nicer finish. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to pop a little bit more of this on my brush. I'm just going to take that over my cheeks because I get scars there over my chin because I've got spots and over my nose. I'm just going to dab that in. And then I'm going to use a sponge. I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge just to buff that in. Okay, so I'm happy with that for my foundation base. I've got to try and... What I always do is I use my products and then just put them in front of me and I get in a terrible mess. So I'm going to try and tidy up as I go along. Okay. I want to do a light dusting of powder now. 
my powder brush is not where it usually lives. What use is that? Here he is, he's over here. I found him. So with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush, I'm going to use I'm going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm going to pop it in a lid of another pot just so it's not... Because it's quite a small little lid and it's hard to use. So I'm going to pop it in this lid. Without making too much mess. I'm just going to dust it over my face. I don't want to go too matte today. So I'm getting the highlighter out. I'm going to try and do sort of a glowy-ish soft look. I say I'm not going to do much of powder and I'm just like, like, <laughs> okay. Cool. And I'm going to do some baking while I do my face. Now, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but let's just do it. Put some more powder in my lid. Oh, I'll put loads in. So I'm going to put this on with a sponge. I should have, oh, I should have, doesn't matter. Don't worry guys. I was going to put a nice concealer under my eyes, but I forgot. Doesn't matter. So... I'm just sort of whacking this on under my eyes. Down my nose. Just leave it like that for a bit, I think. Okay, for my eyes, I don't want to go wild. Uh, I want to keep it quite natural and it's up to you guys do we want a flick do we want a eyeliner flick i'm leaving that up to you so i'm going to use my cargo cosmetics palette and i'm going to go with joey the nice little nudie color we're saying yes to the flick okay so i'm just taking this on my crease and blending. That's really nice. I really like this palette. I really hope my nose doesn't start running. I'm so embarrassed. I think some of the little oranges are coming off as well that I used the other day. This is why you should clean your brushes. Then, I wonder what this one's like. It's quite nice. Then, on the rest of my lid, I'm going to use a sort of pinky, whitey colour called op Opera, 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 I think. Just to brighten that up. Nice. So yeah, I'm trying to keep the eyes quite natural, guys, if you're wondering why it looks pretty pretty boring compared to normal. Mm. 
I'm going to take my first brush that I was using with the nudes on and just take that under my lower lashes. I'm going to put a bit more of the koala colour on it. And then I'm going to also close that up. Oh, my sponge. Uh, from my unique palette one, I'm going to use the Sparkly Sincere, the second one, just for the inner corner of my eyes. I don't even think you're going to be able to see this because of the light. Might go over that with my highlighter as well. Where is it? That's better. So this uh, is my highlighter. It's Makeup Revolution Golden Lights. told you I was going a bit more in with the, with the highlight guys right so because we're keeping it natural I'm gonna go with a small thin wing uh, so I'm gonna use my MUA wet look eyeliner I think this is only like two pounds but I really like it it's easy to use compared to like my other four I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this no I don't think you're gonna be able to see it at all here we go So, keeping that quite small. And now I've got to make the other side match. And lashes. So, I've got my other lashes out today. These are the same brand that I usually use. What are they? I think they're Kiss. They're just slightly more natural. I think they're harder to apply though. So let's see. Don't laugh if it all goes wrong. So I want to try and apply these as close to the lash line as possible. And then grab each corner and press it down. She says. Then we want to go over our bottom lashes with mascara and for that I'm going to use my Rimmel Extra 3D lashes just because it's got a bit of a smaller stick so and my mascara where is it I get things out ready and then lose them what's the point there he is so, for my top lashes, for my top lashes, I'm going to be use my NYX. It's got a funny name, don't laugh. Badonkadunk. That's what it's called. Don't ask me why. Probably because it's massive. It's really easy to like jab your top of your lid with it, so I've got to be careful. I really like these lashes. Okay, eyes are done. Actually, with my and then brows. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to use my dusty 
can never usually be bothered to do it. Um, HD Brows Palette in shade Vamp. This is the darkest one, I believe. And I'm going to use, I don't know what this brush is called. It's from Tesco's, it's kind of a little pack, but it's an angled brush. So, I don't know if you can see, but I should brush them first, but my little spoolie's packed away. I'll drop the other one down the side of my cabinet. But I go along the line underneath my brow and just drag up to blend that line out and make use of that product as well. So, sorry, uh, I'm filling in the middle of my eyebrow at the front as well because my tattoo is lower than my actual hairline so I sort of have to fill it in otherwise my eyebrow looks really skinny when it's not. And then I draw a line on the top of the, on top of the hairs and then I do the tail. Which, I don't know if you can see. I just take the line and bring it down. Okay. And just to finish that off, I'm going to use my, got it out again and lost it, which is great, here it is. Uh, with my unique brow gel, I'm just going to take that over the top because it thickens it out and it will set the hairs. So I'm dragging them back and then sitting them in place. And then you can see the difference. Let's take off our baking. So I'm just going to go back to my powder brush and just dust it away. I'm really annoyed at myself that I didn't conceal under my eyes. That was a really silly thing to do. But it doesn't matter. It's too late now. Okay. Then we want to bronze. And for that I'm going to use my Laura Mercier bronzing powder in shade one, which is nearly finished. And I'm taking that from my ear and the hollows of my cheeks. It's getting really dark now, I'm sorry. Can you see? Okay, and on my forehead, just above my eyebrow, same on the other side. And under my jawline, down my nose. You don't have to do your nose guys, I just do this because mine's quite wide, I use it to sort of slim it down. Uh, blusher, I'm going to use, I usually use my NYX one, but this time I'm going to go to my natural collection one that I smashed, because I wanted something a bit pinkier and prettier. So I'm going for this. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques Duo Fibre Contour Brush for this. And just put that on my cheeks. If you can't really see because it's going to be a bit dark, don't worry, because I'm going to do a little slow-mo video after, hopefully, or a picture. And once again, I'm going to blend that in with my powder brush. 
And then it's time for the highlight. I'm super excited about highlight today. I'm going to use my e.l.f. fan brush to just dust this on my cheekbone. And then I'm taking it up as well. You're probably not going to be able to see right now. Can even highlight down your nose. You know that creeps me out. Right, lips. Uh, I want to go for some pinky. So I'm going to use my unique lip lip pencil in pouty. Can you see? No. I might go over this lip pencil with a gloss. I haven't decided yet. Probably should have sharpened it. Right, what gloss shall I use? That's the question. I've got a brownie one. I had a brownie one, now it's flying over there. I could use this one. Maybe it's a bit sparkly. Right, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use my unique lucrative lip gloss in shade Lovesick. It's pinky and pretty. Ah, oh, it's quite nice. Okay, so I'm sorry it's really dark and you can't really see. So I'm going to get my little selfie light out in a minute and sort of do some pictures and stuff and try and show you my highlight because that's the whole reason I've done the video and you can't really see. But this is my finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll come back. Well, I won't be on live. I'll post you something uh, just to show you the finished look. Okay, thanks for watching guys.